Ready to blow your mind? We use integration by parts when we need to integrate an expression that contains different types of functions. For example, if we have x, which is an algebraic function, and e raised to x, which is an exponential function together in the integral, we cannot use the substitution method to solve it. Similarly, when we have an algebraic and a trigonometric function, or an exponential and a trigonometric function together, we use integration by parts. This is the formula for this method, where u will be one of our functions and v will be the other one. As a first step, we identify which part of the function should be u and which part should be dv. To do this, we use the acronym ILATE, where I stands for inverse trigonometric functions, like the inverse of sine of x. L stands for logarithmic functions, like the natural log of x. A stands for algebraic functions, like 2x or x squared. T stands for trigonometric functions, like cos of x. And E stands for exponential functions like E raised to x or 3 to the power x. We always choose U based on this order, meaning that if we have both an algebraic and a trigonometric function, we select the algebraic function as U since it appears earlier in ILATE. Let's solve the following example. What will be your U function? Yes, you are right. We choose u as x and dv as this entire thing. Now we want du, so the derivative of u with respect to x will be 1, and thus du equals dx. Now to get this v, integrate dv or integrate cos x times dx, and we get sine x. It's super simple now. Substitute them into this formula. u is x, dv is cos x dx, then u is x and v is sine x while v and du are sine x and dx. Oh look, this is the same integral that we need to find and how smartly we have reduced the integral having two functions into a single function. All that is left now is to find this integral, which is minus of cos x, and both these minus will make it plus. Do not forget to put the constant plus c. Noise. If you find it difficult to remember the formula for integration by parts, you can use the product rule of differentiation instead, which is essentially the reverse of the integration by parts, making it much easier to recall. Now integrate both sides with respect to x. Here, both the integral and derivative will cancel out to make it uv. On right side, both dx will get canceled out, and we are left with integral u dv plus integral v du. Take this on left side to get this, which is none other than integration by parts. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel. So cool!